What's up, Reptile fans? It's Wednesday morning here, and guess what? We're back, and you know what? i sorry to get the, uh, the daily vlog up yesterday. I actually fell asleep, and I had to put it up this morning, but I'm back here with my vanilla cream female who I showed you uh, the other day. This is a vanilla and fire that acts like a super, and it creates this, what we call vanilla cream, beautiful female here, and she produced a great clutch that I, I kind of teased you with the other day, and I'm gonna show you the full clutch. It just completely hatched out this morning, and we got some great stuff, and, and, and I'm really excited to show you guys, so let's get to it. This is the daddy. This is, the, this is an orange dream fire spider clown, and he was the one who I bred to the vanilla cream, and we're gonna see some of the babies, so we're gonna put him over here so hopefully he doesn't run around too much. I wanna just show you some contrast. Now, when you, when you breed a vanilla cream, okay, to a snake that has fire gene in it, if this guy throws his fire gene, okay, we're gonna produce either super fires, which are uh, two copies of the fire gene, or we're gonna produce vanilla creams, which is a fire with the vanilla gene, okay? If he doesn't throw the fire gene, we're gonna still get either a vanilla or a fire, because vanilla creams have to throw one of those genes. They can't throw both, because they're both in the same allele, they pick one copy. So let's see what we got now. We got a lot of bunch, we got a lot of white snakes here. I think I showed you the other day, more so than I thought. So every one of these snakes is, is at least a super fire. That's a black eyed leucistic. Leucistic means it's different than albino. Albino means no black uh, pigment. Leucistic means no pigment whatsoever, zero. Okay, now these super fires have black eyes and they're notoriously, they have yellow on their body. Um, I don't see any yellow in any of these. Okay, I got actually five of them we produced. Can you believe it? Five super fires? And not a single one of them has any pattern on them. Now, that could be because they have other genes in them. The other gene that I'm, you know, that they could have in them is they can have orange dream in them and they can have spider. My instincts tell me that there's probably spider in here because spider tends to reduce pattern and the spider certainly would have removed that yellow gunk we usually see on the back of these super fires. So these are very, very, very nice white Super fires with black eyes. I'm sure that people are gonna to wanna to buy them. The great thing about this, this clutch is that they're all 100% head clown too. So we got super fires that are 100% head clown. They're possible, um, they're possible spider and of course they're possible orange dream. Now, let's get our little daddy here who keeps running away from me and put him back here. He doesn't wanna. All right, so you see our five super fires here, which is, was a really good eye. This was a big litter. Now we're gonna to go to look at some of the snakes that aren't super fire. This snake here, okay, is not super fire and it's not vanilla cream. Therefore, the, the daddy on this snake did not throw the fire gene. That means this snake must be either fire or vanilla, okay? Now, I would tend to say it, it might, it's probably fire. This is probably a fire and it's 100% head clown. I don't see any orange dream in here and there's certainly no spider in here. So, we'll call this a fire. Now we're gonna start getting some of the more interesting snakes. Okay, let's put the white ones back for a second. Here we have what is definitely a vanilla cream. This is, you can see that acts like super. That's the fire and vanilla gene with orange dream. You can see the orange highlights along the top of this body. This is certainly, and if you turn it over, we can see a little orange blushing here. This is orange dream vanilla cream. Okay, so that's fire, vanilla, an orange dream. Once again, every one of these snakes is 100% head clown as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous little snake. And once this sheds out, we're gonna see the orange even intensify more because we know that orange dream gets better as they age. Now, here is, an, is another really cool looking snake. This is definitely spider. We see the spider here, okay? The question is, okay, is it vanilla cream too? I don't see any pattern on the side that would indicate vanilla cream, okay? So I think what this is, it's orange dream, uh, fire, and spider. That, that, that would be my, my guess, if I had a guess. Now, I'm gonna put these back for a second. I have the final snake here. If you look at this snake, which looks very much like this snake, but, it, 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 but at the same time, it doesn't, because this snake, if you look at the side pattern, it has that vanilla cream side pattern. Why isn't it all over the snake? Because it's also spider. I believe this to be orange dream, because it's definitely orangey, Vanilla cream, because it's got the vanilla in the fire, the act like super, okay, in there. It's 100% head, obviously clown, 
which is great. We love that. And um, you know, I think we hit pretty much every gene that we wanted to, and it contains the spider gene, obviously. So this is spider, orange dream, vanilla cream, 100% head clown. That's a, that's a lot of words, right? That's a lot. That's a lot of genes in this little snake here. And as you can tell, once again, you can tell the difference between this one and this one because look how clean this one is. There's no there's no vanilla creamish pattern on the side. So this is this would, this one is probably pure either fire or pure vanilla. Okay, it doesn't have the, the other gene in it. And this one has this one excuse me, this one has fire and vanilla in it, vanilla cream. This one probably is just either fire or vanilla. I'm not really sure. But I think, they, I think they both got the orange dream in it. They both look very orangey to me. Um, they're both obviously spiders as well, and they're both 100% head pies. Uh, excuse me, head clown. So let's, let's take a look at all of them together here. Vanilla cream, orange dream. This is your um, orange, uh, vanilla cream spider, orange dream. And here's your spider orange dream, possible fire. And then here, this is just fire. Okay, and then of course you can, we can contrast that with our black-eyed leucistic right here. So I mean that's like, that's a pretty nice looking clutch right there in and of itself. And I mean very, very clean pattern here. You can see how the spider removes all the interference. Okay, and then when you have super fire it removes everything because super fire basically is, has no, no pigment whatsoever. It's a pigmentless snake. Um, I think I would tend to bet that these are combined with, with the spider gene and that's why they're so white because these are these are very white. although look if you look at this super fire you see the little yellow there you see a little pattern on that that's that's way more pattern than i see say on this one look at these two this one really doesn't have that, that yellowish pattern although it has a couple dots here i guess i guess the more you look you can see but some of them are a little light are, are whiter than others but there is a little faint yellow uh, pattern here which is typical of your super fires so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this clutch. It's kind of exciting when I see a lot of different, you know, variations on the same theme. And obviously when you have a lot of snakes in a single clutch, you have much more of an opportunity to hit on the multi-gene ones uh, that you do. We got lucky. We really, we had all really good snakes in this one. There really wasn't, there was no, as I would say, throwaways, you know. Even the, the fire is really cool. And he's trying to get away. He's like, I don't like the fact that I'm not getting credit. You're cool too. That's a cool looking snake. And he's 100% head clown. All right, let's take a look at one more thing and then we're going to wrap it for today because Wednesday is notoriously a very busy day. All right, we're going to finish today's video with uh, the scaleless uh, ball python I produced earlier this year. She's been growing by leaps and bounds. She seems to, it seems like she sheds every week to me. Uh, she just shed today and I've been, like I told you, I put a bag bomb on her to, to kind of moisturize her skin so that it's, it's nice and smooth and she has easy sheds. And she's a great eater. She's never missed one single meal. And that's really good. And you can tell, you can, there's still a little bit of stuck shed on her, on her face. I, like I said, I rub that with a little like moisturizer and it peels right off. Um, you can look at her belly. This, this is you can, no scales on her body whatsoever. That's just, is this just the coolest looking snake of all time? And the bigger she gets, the cooler it is because you, you really can, you have to hold this thing in your hand to really appreciate a scaleless ball python, how cool it is. I mean, look at the, this is theoretically a regular ball python. I think it's actually a blade, but even if it's not, I mean, look at the, at the, 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 the color, uh, you know, on this, and look at how it's so pronounced. And I mean, this, this does not look like a regular ball python. It, it's definitely something different. When you take away the scales and you put that, that scaleless gene in there, it does more. It disrupts pattern and it enhances color without a doubt. Even look at the head. It almost looks like it could be pastel, but it's not. There's no pastel in here whatsoever. Once again, I just wanted to give you guys an update because a lot of people say, how's that scaleless ball python you doing? Eating great. We're going to build her up. Hopefully, I'll breed her in a couple of years. You know, I didn't hit any other scaleless ball pythons this year. I kind of struck out. I actually have a couple clutches. I got some scaleless heads, but she was the only scaleless. But you know what? Sometimes one is better than nothing. That's what I always say. I wanted one for myself to kind of have as a pet. Obviously, down the road, it'll be more than a pet, and I'll start putting more and more genes into these uh, scalises. But this is just a really cool snake, and you know what? If someone bought me this as a gift or as a pet as a kid, I think I would have lost my mind uh, because it's got to be uh, one of the most unique-looking snakes out there right now. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great Wednesday. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, hit that like button, and guess what? We'll give you back tomorrow morning.